Hi, my curls and gents. I am going to be doing the much awaited lip swatch or lip colors, my favorite fall lipsticks as of right now. Um, and as I said in another video, they're actually just purples and reds have been my color this season and I'm excited with that and I'm going to stay with that for as long as I can. So stay tuned to see swatches and lip swatches of my favorite eight, no, nine fall lipsticks. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, so the first swatch that I'm going to show you is what I'm actually wearing right now. And if you want to see how I did this face, please click the link somewhere over here. I'll put the link over here so you can see the video of how I did this face. This is the one that I'm currently wearing. This is Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. And I'm going to do a hand swatch. And this is what that color looks like. It's a matte color. This is what it looks like on my lips. It goes on so incredibly creamy. I have a few other mattes in this that I'm going to show you that don't go on as creamy, I promise you. But this doesn't feel like a matte. It doesn't feel drying. It feels very moisturizing. I am in love, in love, in deep love with this. So check it out. Let me From Black Radiance, and this is um, 5117. I actually don't know the name of the color, but it's a deep purple, and I'm going to hand swatch it. And it is very similar to the Revlon Color Stay. This is the um, Black Radiance, right? Here. This is what it looks like on my on my. that it's creamy it lasts long um, it is black radiant so it's for our skin love this the packaging is not the best the writing wears off but whatever the color is amazing so it's all that matters so next is Revlon no I'm sorry Maybelline Brazenberry in number 905 and this is what this looks like and I'm going to do a hand swatch. This one is the lighter color. Right here Again, the, the color is Brazenberry. And this is what it looks like on it. I feel like this one is... Um, pigmented but it's not it's my least favorite of my purples I like it um, I do feel like this is more of a spring kind of color but I have worn it a few times um, this fall so I like it I'm not in love with it but I do like it what do you guys think last but not least will be um, from the purple collection my Mac rebel this is one of my favorites it was um, one of my first MAC lipsticks ever, and I've heard so much about the color Rebel, like I had to, had to, had to have it, and I love it. It is more of a red undertone, um, so it's not as dark as the Black Radiance or the um, Color Burst, but this is almost like an everyday go-to kind of lipstick for me. For this fall, this is what the color looks like. And I will hand swatch it. Here is the color. Again, you guys should be able to see that red undertone, so it's not as deep as these two. Um, but it is in the purple plum family. 
and this is what it looks like. right now is elf matte color so this is a matte lipstick in rich red here is what it looks like hope you guys can see that it is a um, it actually is a very creamy matte um, I haven't worn this in a while but when I first purchased this, I was wearing it like every day. I loved the color. So, this is what. So, what do you guys think? Let me know. Okay, next we have Black Radiance again. And this is in Reggae Red. I actually saved the little sticker so I could put it on the side because it only has the number on the bottom and the number is 5014 Reggae Red in Black Radiance. This is what it looks like. And I feel like this is a true red. Um, it is very bright. It's very creamy and it lasts a really long time. I think I had to reapply this maybe once throughout the day and I wore it to work. So I was there for eight hours, of course, or eight plus hours actually. Um, and I only reapplied it once. So this is amazing. Love this. So, um, oh, I forgot to do swatches. Here is the hand swatch for my elf. Here's the swatch for the elf. So here is the hand swatch. Right on top. They're very similar in color, but this obviously is more creamy because the e.l.f. is a matte. And this is what it looks like on me. I feel like, um, Betty, Betty Boo? Betty Bop? No. Betty Boo? I don't know. Y'all know who I'm talking about. But anyway, what do you think? another Maybelline Maybelline in Red Revival in the number 645 very creamy um, a little bit darker than the last one here is a hand swatch it's actually showing up the same on my hand but I feel like it's a little bit darker It's definitely not as um, creamy or satiny as the other one. It is creamy, but it's not as creamy. Um, the shine factor is not as much as the um, Black Radiance one. Again, the top one is the color that I'm wearing. So. And this, of course, is Ruby Woo. It is definitely the least creamiest of the, the other, the four. Um, it is, it doesn't go on as smooth as the e.l.f. matte. This is the second matte that I own in my um, red palette, in red collection. So it's not as creamy. The color lasts 
all day and then some. Um, the color is incredible. I think it looks great on every skin tone. And I'm going to do a hand swatch. It is definitely a vibrant red. It's the one right here on the top. All my reds I'm noticing look very similar. I need to start getting some berries or um, some deeper wine reds. Um, I think that's what I'll go for next. But anyway, here's what it looks like on me. What do you think? final color and this is NYX. This is number 638 in the color Sunflower. I don't really think that it's the color Sunflower but um, I do think it is more of a, like a burnt orange corally kind of color. Um, this is um, a color that I saw that I thought was pretty in the bottle but I'm still not 100% sure how I like it on me. It is definitely something different. It is a change. It is bright. It is vibrant. And I feel like it's more of a like going out, dancing kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I still don't know how I feel about it. Here is a hand swatch. I don't wear it as often. I've worn it a couple of times during the fall. But I wanted to put it in this um, video because it is one of my lipsticks that I have worn in the fall. And um, one that I want to really make work. You know, it does that make my sense? Hand swatch. It To me, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But to me, it's like a burnt orange not necessarily a burnt orange but it's more orangey and coral like coral and orange met and had a little baby and this is what it came out to be I don't know if that makes sense it makes sense in my head don't judge me anyway what do you guys think of this color <laughs> for my fall lip color and lip swatches um please let me know which one is your favorite let me know which one is your favorite out of the purple collection or let me know which one is your favorite out of the red collection or if you like this solo one by itself let me know which one was your favorite in the comments please don't forget below. to follow me on facebook instagram and twitter www.facebook.com slash confessions of a naturalista as always the link is right here twitter and instagram are at naturalista526 please take a min minute to hit that button and subscribe so you don't miss out on natural hair tutorials makeup beauty and everything else in between you don't want to miss it so hit that button right up there to subscribe thank you guys so much for watching peace and blessings Bye. Thank you.